Hughesville Landfill, which is actually in Severn in Anne Arundel County. 11 News I-Team reporter Barry Sims is live in Severn with the county's response to what happened. Barry. Well, Kate, this is where Jonathan McCruden says that he found those crabs. And while it is a disturbing find, the county says that crab dumping has happened before. While making an ordinary trip to the Millersville landfill to drop off construction materials, Jonathan McCruden of Pasadena made an astonishing discovery. I was very angry and sick to my stomach. So appalled, he took pictures. I saw a two pickup truckloads full of live crabs dumped at the county landfill and could not believe my eyes. He isn't sure when someone dumped the blue crabs, some dead and dying, many others crawling out of baskets. I saw a pile, waist high, about 12 feet wide, and 20 feet long, of blue crabs, and the whole mound was moving. They were still alive. He calls it a shameful waste, especially since the demand for crabs is much higher than the supply, and buying them can cost a small fortune. We checked several seafood carryouts and found prices ranging anywhere from $25 a dozen for small males to about $120 a dozen for jumbos and around $295 for a bushel of number one males, a mixture of medium and large crabs. The price of crabs, the population's dropping so much. We checked with Anne Arundel County's Department of Public Works, and this dumping of what's considered food waste is allowed. Whether it's kitchen scraps or unsaleable food or uh, whatever, uh, uh, it is permitted uh, here at the landfill. DPW's Matt Deal says in this case, a commercial customer, an area of business, dumped less than a ton of waste, paying a $57 tipping fee. From our experience, uh, commercial companies, maybe seafood producers or restaurants, um, have disposed of uh, unsaleable uh, food, such as crabs, before. Uh, they're typically all. Uh, typically, they're not alive. If there are a few that are alive, um, it's possible. And we also went to a place that sells crabs that's not too far from here. The manager told us he puts dead crabs in a dumpster or he takes them to the landfill. But he said also that he would lose money if he discarded live crabs that way. Reporting live from Severn, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News. Unbelievable.